This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Handwriting the Basics Although much attention is paid to the students' developed writing skills today, handwriting is basic for students at the primary and upper elementary levels when they are taught to use printing, manuscript, and cursive handwriting. It is important to note that students usually develop their handwriting, reading, and spelling skills. Developing handwriting skills, students learn how to write their names first, and over time, they are able to complete home tasks and take notes. According to Stout, the major handwriting components presented at the primary and upper elementary levels are correct letter formation, uniform letter size, and uniform slant. However, other researchers add alignment and spacing, paying attention to the variation and usage of these components for teaching manuscript and cursive handwriting. Handwriting Components for Primary and Upper Elementary Handwriting Instruction Correct letter formation, all the letters should have the correct form. Uniform letter size, the lowercase letters should be the same size. Uniform letter alignment, all the letters should stay on the line. Uniform letter slant, the letters should have a similar slant. Uniform letter spacing, the space between letters and words should be observed. To achieve the best results in teaching handwriting, it is important to focus on teaching one component at a time to develop the skill properly. Handwriting activities to teach and practice handwriting. Primary elementary level. At the primary elementary level, children are taught to print letters, manuscript handwriting, in kindergarten or first grade and to use cursive handwriting in the second or third grade. Activities to teach manuscript handwriting Training in writing horizontal lines, vertical lines, slides, and circles, finger tracing exercises. Copying letters based on visual patterns and oral instructions. Writing imaginary letters in the air, the development of motor skills. Making the shapes of different letters with bodies, kinesthetic channel of learning. Tracing, tracking, and practicing multiple patterns based on the visual demonstration and tactile activities. Focusing on posture, pencil grip, and paper placement is necessary. Cursive handwriting is usually presented in the late second or third grade. It is important to make the transition from print to cursive handwriting easier for children. It is important to coordinate the work of right-handers and left-handers with references to the appropriate and clear instructions. Activities to teach cursive handwriting Comparison and discussion of print and cursive letters Training in connecting letters with the help of cursive lines Writing imaginary letters in the air Writing letters and words based on the demonstration and oral instructions. Copying letters and words based on the visual patterns. Monitored and independent writing in worksheets. Upper elementary level. Children develop their cursive handwriting skills at the upper elementary level, usually in four to five grades. Activities to practice cursive handwriting at the upper elementary level. Training in fluent and legible writing, focus on speed, legibility, neatness. Competitions in clear and legible writing, competitions in fluent and clear writing. Focus on handwriting neatness criteria while writing essays. Taking clear notes. Did you like this how to teach handwriting effectively sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs.